God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Thursday, December 30th. Today's devotional is based on the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 22 to 40. So it's a bit of a long one today. When the time came for the purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, this man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what had been said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of, of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of eighty-four. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer, night and day. At that moment she came and began to praise God, and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by James Howell. Because of this child, Simeon can die calmly, confidently. He can be hosp as hospitable to his impending death as he has been to the child Mary brought to the temple, embracing it, blessing God for it. And we're left with this question today. In what ways does the church permit you to fulfill the baptismal vows of loving, encouraging, and supporting one another? Let us pray. Let me love with the love of Mary, even when my heart is broken. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again tomorrow as we close out 2021. Until next time, whenever that may be, I pray that you remain safe and healthy, that during this wave of the pandemic, you're washing your hands frequently, you're wearing a mask, and, and you're practicing social distancing. Until next time, God bless.